Hi one and all. In previous video, we learn about decomposition of signal through discrete wavelet transform using MATLAB wavelet analyzer app. Now in this video, we learn about how to decompose a signal through discrete wavelet transform by using Python programming. So in order to do this programming, we need a collab notebook. So now we go to the browser and we will check for the Google Collab Notebook. Google Collab Notebook. Now open the Google Collab Notebook and uh, take a new notebook and name it as uh, DWT. You can name anything but I am naming here as a DWT. DWT. So before going to the decomposing our signal, we have to import our signal into our Google Collab notebook. So to do that, we will write a code that from Google dot Collab import files. So we have to import our uh, CSV or Excel sheet or any type of data into our Google Collab. So now for doing this thing, we are writing the required code. So uploaded is equal to files dot upload bracket. Now run this code to import our signal. So after running this code, we will get a uh, widget to upload our file. So, so it is a consists of signal, so signal file. So we got here choose files and cancel upload. So we will choose the selected signal by using this choose file option. So now click on the choose file option and choose a signal. Here I am uh, considering a SAG signal, voltage SAG signal. So uh, I want to decompose the voltage signal here, voltage SAG signal here. So I am just choosing the voltage SAG. So now uh, after choosing that, so now uh, entire uh, file was now imported. So now, now we have to import the data analysis uh, library. So for doing that, import pandas as pd. And also we need some input and output operations. So in order to, to do that, we will import the IO library. So import, import IO library or import IO simply now run this code now we already uh, we already imported the data analysis library and also input output library now we have to read the imported signal so now for doing that we are giving df is equal to pd dot read underscore so there are different uh, extensions here. We are giving, uh, we are choosing, we are already taken sag.csv extension file. So CSV input output bytes IO uploaded. We are saved that file as sag.csv. So we have to uh, read the sag.csv here. So particularly we are uh, reading the sag.csv uh, file here. Now run this uh, code. 
so in order to uh, look what is in df so just type print df so you can see the uh, signal uh, data here so there are almost 1023 signals are there a single column signal so 1023 into 1 so there are 1023 samples are there now we have to decompose this voltage sag signal by using a discrete wavelet transform so in order to do that we have to call the wavelet transform library here or wavelet transform software here so that is done by uh, import pywt so now uh, we have installed the wavelet transform software in our google collab so now we have to write the code for signal decomposition so we already know that a signal is decomposed into low frequency components and high frequency components in uh, discrete wavelet transform. So CA1 is a low frequency component which was an approximate coefficient and CD1, CD2, CD3 and CD4 are the detailed coefficients at, at four levels, at four levels of decomposition. So CA, CD1, CD2, CD3 and CD4. So approximate coefficient, detail, uh, detail coefficients for four levels. So PYWT dot wave deck. So we are giving the signal here. The signal is uh, DF and uh, WG is our mother wavelet. And we are decomposing for the fourth level or up to four levels. Now run this code. So our signal is decomposed. Now we can check our uh, low frequency components and high frequency components. So if you want to check what is the detail coefficients or the high frequency component at level one, now you just write a code that print CD1. So now we get, we will get the uh, coefficients of uh, first level detail coefficients. So now these are the uh, detail coefficients of the first level. Similarly, we can uh, check the detail coefficients of the second level. And similarly, we can check for the detail coefficients for the third level of decomposition similarly we can check for the fourth level detail coefficients of a decomposer signal similarly we can also check the approximate coefficients also so this is how uh, signal is decomposed using 